Today, we're going to be talking about some of the best immortals that you can pick for each attribute here in Infinity Kingdom. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Okay, so KVK is almost here. Legion of Frostborn is coming very, very soon. And all the different servers here in Infinity Kingdom are preparing as best they can to be able to fight and hopefully secure their first victory for their server. And obviously, one of the most important things when it's going to come to KVK is do you have the most powerful marches that you can possibly build so that way when it comes to fighting other players, you are ready to go. So in this video, we're going to go over some of my favorite immortal picks for the five Five main attributes so we're gonna be talking about water earth lightning wind and fire and fire is gonna be probably the most important one if especially if you are a free-to-play player so make sure you stay tuned for that that's gonna be closer to the end of the video when it comes to shadow and holy immortals you can sort of sprinkle some of these guys into your compositions we'll talk about that later but when it comes to a full shadow or a full holy army you really do have to max out your vip and i think a lot of especially free-to-play players aren't going to be in that ballpark right so for the sake of this video okay i think it's going to be most helpful to just cover the five main attributes keep it simple and if we can sprinkle in a holy or a shadow immortal i will definitely let you know okay first let's start with water because this is when you get lance a lot he's water you're basically going to start with water no matter what so let's start here okay if you are a free to play player your build is going to look something like this you're going to have yoshi and helen in the back row harold and brynhild in the front row you can replace brynhild with ulji munda if you would like to do that as well that is totally possible he uses spearman and i think deals a little bit more damage than brynhild but she's a little bit more tanky so keep that in mind if you do spend a little bit in the game you can get merlin who has explosive damage in the back row really great addition to the water build and of course you can get attila in the front row as well you also if you wanted to you could get uh, ramses who i don't have on this account i have him on my other account you could do Ramses instead of either Attila or Harold, depending on which one you get. Um, honestly, Harold is going to be somebody that you get for free. So if you're going to spend money, you really only need to buy either Attila or Ramses. However, if you are a bigger spender, you can do both of those in the front row. So Ramses and Attila in the front row, Merlin in the back row, and then Dito also in the back row. And that would probably be your optimal build if you are again a decent spender in the game next let's move on to the earth immortals and this is going to be sort of what you're building towards in the early game okay you're going to have isabella in the back row and cleopatra in the back row leonidas up front and then you can either choose Boudica or john henry i think Boudica might be slightly better but honestly if you look at their active skills they're they're similar right Boudica prevents normal attacks for six seconds whereas john henry i think does a four second complete stun of the enemy so both are aoe with modest damage so i think again realistically they're very similar you can use gilgamesh in the back row instead of isabella if you can get your hands on his fragments obviously isabella is easier to get but you know if you have gilgamesh use him instead if you're a spender in the game you can use charles martel in the front row with zenobia in the back row as well as alexander the great instead of leonidas that's going to be sort of your gold standard for the earth build i don't have alexander the great on this account so you're seeing leonidas instead but this will give you sort of an idea of what you're going for this march is going to be incredibly tanky okay just incredibly tanky you've got the shielding you've got the healing with zenobia there's tons of stuff going on here sort of lacking in damage i'm not a huge fan of earth but that's just me uh it does counter water though which is the most common march you see so keep that in mind next let's talk about lightning okay if you are a free-to-play player in the early game you're going to be focusing something like this with Richard and William Wallace in the front row Isongye and Abauji in the back row eventually as a free-to-play player you're going to put Peter the Great in the front row he is exceptional in the front row um he does have I think a lower drop rate so you're going to be getting fragments of him uh, less frequently than you will somebody like Richard for example which is why you're going to probably have Richard maxed first sticking with the free-to-play route you can actually replace Abauji with Gilgamesh who is obviously holy he will probably deal a little bit more damage it's just going to take a while for you to get him sort of uh, to a level that would make him better than Abauji however eventually if you are a player who is spending a bit in the game you're definitely going to want to get Genghis Khan he is a huge damage dealer in the back row and you're definitely going to want to use him for your lightning build so again if you are spending a little bit in the game this is sort of the build that I would be recommending to you next let's talk about the wind attribute so of course you're going to be focusing as a free-to-play player 
on Barca and Arthur in the front row with Moctezuma and Robin Hood in the back row. This is going to be sort of your early game focus is going to be these immortals right here. Eventually you'll probably want to shift to something like this with the Chin Emperor in the back row and Empress Wu as well. I know she's fire, but she deals crazy damage. So she'll be decent in the back row there. If you do spend in the game, then you can have Baldwin in the back row instead of Empress Wu and you can use her somewhere else. And you could probably replace King Arthur. Arthur with Saladin who you can get from the daily bundles and this would be sort of your best case scenario for the wind March okay finally let's talk about fire immortals okay and I think this is going to be one of the better options for free to play players this is what you're going to be focusing on in the early game obviously you don't want to be doing too much fighting uh with with a blue immortal here in the back row okay so you're going to want to replace Palayo as soon as possible med B is just back there as a damage dealer however eventually you're going to want to focus on something that looks like this okay you've got frederick and william in the front row of course you can replace frederick with hippolyta if you want to i think william has good synergy with the fire dragon so that's why i would prefer william in the build then we have empress Wu and ashoka in the back row empress Wu, we've talked about already she deals crazy damage okay and you can get her as free to play you just have to do well in contention of relics with your entire kingdom ashoka is somebody that you're going to get for free just by summoning so everything here that you see is free to play and they shouldn't be too difficult to get fragments of so this is definitely attainable as a free to play player and i think a really solid build as far as troop composition goes especially considering the rarity of all these immortals right these are some of the most rare immortals and again they are all things that you can definitely get free to play william definitely has a little bit of a lower drop rate i think than uh frederick and ashoka if i remember correctly so he will be coming a little bit slower you can use hippolyta there until you get him to a good point if you're getting her much more frequently now you can put cyrus in the back row as a replacement for ashoka assuming that you are able to obtain him i don't know if that will be super attainable for free to play players right you will have to compete in events and things like that and some players will uh, probably be spending to get this guy in the back row so if you can get cyrus definitely replace ashoka with him but i don't know again if that'll be possible for everybody finally if you are a spender and you want to pick up genghis khan but you're not building a lightning march for some reason you can throw khan here in the fire build and this would just be an insane amount of damage right you just have so much damage coming from that back row it doesn't even matter that khan isn't a fire immortal he would fit in here really really well so that's something that you can play around with if you don't want to use ashoka and you don't have have Cyrus or whatever the case might be but you do have a really good Genghis Khan that you have available again you can throw him in here I don't know if if you know if you're investing in Khan you're probably investing in a full lightning march but again this would be another use for your fire build as well okay now let's talk about which attributes you should focus on right because it's super important that you don't start building up multiple different armies all at the same time right because you want to be focusing on a single attribute get that army to be as powerful as you can get it and then once that's finished then you can start working on another attribute and remember you can always do the immortal reborn feature if you decide later down the line hey i'm not a huge fan of let's say my water march i can always just immortal reborn and invest all of those uh fragments sort of dismantle them get back those soul crystals which i can actually do some of that right now i can't believe i've left these here <laughs> So if you're a free to play player, I would recommend starting with water and eventually making your way towards fire. Now, if you're going to be investing in three different attributes, right, which would be again, that's a long term goal. You may be spreading yourself out a little thin there. Okay. But if you want to, if you want to focus on three different attributes, again, first I would do water. Eventually you probably want to do fire, uh, because again, all of the fire immortals are things that you can get free to play. I was showing you my other account before you can get Empress Wu in the back row here so all that it makes sense i don't really think that earth is great as free to play because you can't get zenobia you can't get charles and those are like the best things about earth right even though it does counter water i don't think it's the best choice the other thing is uh we have wind and lightning right which of those two should you pick well the thing about wind is that getting the crystals for the dragon is a little bit more difficult it seems than for lightning because you're primarily going to be getting them from the insignia shop they cost 500. i don't know about you but i feel like grinding out for the lightning crystals is maybe a little bit easier if you're free to play right because remember to get those insignias you actually have to perform well 
in every single day in in the arena right so the alternative is lightning where you can actually grind out the giant breakers and those known bosses are basically going to give you the lightning crystals it is a slow grind of course uh, but you can do that when it comes down to the immortals you can get everything here in the lightning march except for genghis khan as free to play if that's the case i would replace khan with either uh, empress Wu or gilgamesh or some other massive damage dealer in the back row because that's really what khan is doing and you've got an excellent march with a dragon you can actually get crystals for reliably now if you're a spender in the game uh, i would recommend going for still probably fire because you have empress Wu. she He's very powerful you also have cyrus that you can compete for who is again extremely powerful um lightning is still a good choice as a as somebody who spends a little bit in the game because again khan is so powerful getting him in the back row is going to be really great um, for you and then beyond that right you're you're i don't know what you have access to but more than likely you're going to have access to elizabeth bathory you're going to have access to the shadow dragon and the holy dragon and you can start to build uh you know an army around those compositions which we obviously haven't talked about in this video and then finally in the early game you'll probably want to go uh with earth as somebody who is uh, spending a little bit in the game because you're going to be able to counter all of those early game water players and you're going to get access to obviously charles and alexander and zenobia so those are all extremely good for that build anyway with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video if you learned something if you found this useful make sure you go ahead and drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see it and then they can prepare for their own kvk and actually maybe you don't want to do that maybe you want to keep this video a secret so that way you go up against players who don't know what they're doing but anyway if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video as always if you haven't downloaded infinity kingdom yet there is going to be a link down in the description below make sure you give it a try also if you play it on your phone you can also play it on your computer as well you can find it on steam so keep that in mind it's great you can play it on your pc and you can play it how it's supposed to be played anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace